Hello and welcome to Dress My Craft YouTube channel. If you are new here, do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss a video from us. In this video, we are going to work with the stitch tag hash two die set from Dress My Craft, and we will use it in a fun and a very uncommon way. Are you confused? Then let me see you what exactly I'm talking about here. Here, have a look at this card. Can you spot all these cute envelopes placed on the card? What if I tell you that we have created these envelopes using the exact same tag die over here? Isn't it fun and exciting? So this project is a perfect example on how you can, you know, uh, make use of your basic dies in the most, you know, uncommon ways and get the best out of one product, right? So let's understand now how to create these cute envelopes using the stitch tag tie from Dress My Craft. Begin with taking some pieces of colored cardstocks which are fitting the second size of the tag tie. We have taken a tiny bit extra to make sure it cuts smoothly in the machine. You may take any colored cardstock available with you. Here we have taken tropical cardstock from Dress My Craft. It has a variety of 20 beautiful colors to choose from. Now, for the purpose of die cutting, we're going to get Easy Cuts machine. So this is our mini die cutting machine. It is portable, has a foldable platform. To cut with this, we're going to use these cutting plates. We're going to place the cutting side down onto the paper and then place the second plate on top. Please avoid the scratch marks on our cutting plates. This is quite normal to a cutting plate and this machine is well loved. And in this first run itself, you'll get a beautiful and crisp cut with this machine. Now die cut on the remaining colors similarly. So here we have done it for you already. So this is how all the tags are going to look like. Now you may choose any number or any colors of tags as per your liking. You may go for 5, 6 or many more as well. Next we will also need a smaller tag which is the size 1 from the set cut on a white cardstock. Now let's understand how to turn the tags into envelopes for that we'll be needing this amazing tool from dress my craft which is a mini scoreboard to turn the tags into envelopes we are going to add some score lines onto it to do that let's pick up our scoring tool from top and let's pick a tag keep your tag in the following position place it onto the scoreboard make sure it is aligning with the top and the left edge and onto the one inch mark we are going to press and slide our scoring tool which will give us a nice score line onto the tag cut out um, i hope you are able to uh, see the lines in the camera so it has a dented line and a bumpy line on either of the sides of the tag and we will repeat the exact same thing for the rest of the colored tags now let's see the process again a little closely. Here, this is how you're going to place the tag and onto the 1 inch mark you're going to score and then again onto the 2 inch mark. So basically you are adding 2 score lines on one tag. In the exact same way, score all of the colored tags but do not touch the small white one. We do not want to make any score marks onto this tag. So all of the color tags are done with scoring. Here you will see we have added another you know tag in the pile because five are looking to list to us. So now we have in total six. Now in the next step we are going to take my most favorite tool which is an ergo bone folder and we're going to fold and crease onto these score lines. So keeping the back side or the rough side of the tag facing you. Just fold the bottom flap upwards and the top flap downwards to get this cute envelope shape. It was easy, isn't it? Now once you have gotten the shape, simply use your ergo bone folder to press and crease 
onto these score lines and your first envelope is ready now in the exact same way we're going to create a rest of the envelopes now to close your envelopes we are going to use these two adhesives one is a liquid glue and one is a foam adhesive now First we are going to pick the liquid glue and we are going to close the envelopes in the following way. We are going to apply a generous amount of glue onto the bottom flap of the tag and we are going to close it this way. Press it down a little bit and keep it aside to dry. Let's repeat the same thing for the second envelope. Now here note that we need to keep any one of the envelope open so that we can add the tag inside it later on. So pick any color of your choice and keep it aside. For the remaining ones glue them in the exact same way. Now pick up the remaining envelope and onto this one we are going to apply glue only onto the edges on the bottom flap. This way it will allow us to insert anything any tag inside it later on. Afterwards we are going to take out some small pieces of foam adhesive using scissors and we are going to add it onto the inside top flap of each envelope and close it this way. We will repeat the same thing for all the envelopes except for the one which is kept open. After all the envelopes are ready, it's time to decorate them with some little hearts. So here, we are going to add these cute little hearts onto each of the envelopes. These hearts are going to decorate them as well as hide that whole punch out onto the tags as well. So it is a smart way to hide the holes and beautify it at the same time. You can add these with the help of any liquid glue. To get a better grip onto these tiny elements, you may use these cuff tweezers to pick them up and place them onto each of the envelope. Here I am also adding one heart onto the open envelope as well because I really don't want to uh, make that hole visible as well. So this is how the complete envelopes are going to look like. Aren't they look adorable? Now let's move forward to the next step. In the next step, we are going to create a card base. Here I have a one ready with me. To create this base, you simply need a long piece of cardstock which is four and a quarter inches from the side and eleven inches in the length. In order to fold it, you may simply use the mini scoreboard. Place it lengthwise and score at five and a half inches, which is exactly in half, and then fold and burnish it with the help of ergo bone folder to get a nice and crisp card base like this. Now you may take all the envelopes and place them in any of the arrangement as per your liking. You can add them straight or scattered like this. To, a, to be able to add them, we are simply going to use this 12 mm foam adhesive. Here, for my ease, I have already you know doubled and tripled this tape to get different variations of height onto these envelopes. If you are not a fan of giving dimension, you may simply go and add them with the help of glue itself. Now that we have finalized the arrangement, simply pick up the foam adhesive and start sticking all the envelopes onto the base.
So here's how the final arrangement of the envelopes looks like on the card. Look at the beautiful dimension. I'm loving it. Now before we move forward, I remember that I forgot to actually show you uh, the white cardstock which I have used to create the card base here. So this is a matte white cardstock from Dress My Craft which I have actually used to create the base. Okay, so now for the next thing, here we are picking up the Sentiment Hash 1 transformer sheet. It has a variety of sentiments to choose from to so take out any of the two sentiments which can fit a longer one which can fit a strip and a smaller one which we can add onto the small tab. So here are the two sentiments which we have picked for us and we have taken them out from the sheet with the help of scissors. Now let's take out the strip and the tag as well. You will also need a water brush pen or you may use simple brush with water. Here to fit the sentiment onto the small tag I have divided it into two parts with the help of scissors. Now to do the transfer simply peel off this protective film from top and then place it upside down onto the tag like this. The other side of this transfer me is quite very sticky so make sure you are handling and holding the transfer sheet from a smaller area of the edge and then you are placing it upside down nicely and rubbing it afterwards. Repeating the same thing for the longer sentiment as well, removing the sheet transparent protective film and then sticking it upside down and rubbing it. Now with the help of this water brush pen, we are going to apply water onto the transfer me. Apply a generous amount of water but do not overdo it because we are working with paper right now and if we add too much water onto the paper, it will deshape the paper. Now once you see the sentiment clearly and the top backing sheet starts moving, simply slide it away and your transfer has been beautifully done. Isn't it looking as if it is printed, right? Repeat the same thing for the tag as well. Now at this moment the transfer is quite wet so keep them aside for a few seconds to dry them completely and after that only we are going to start working with it. So now here they have dried completely. So now it's time to add them onto the card. We are going to first begin with these longer sentiment over here. You may add it as it is or you may give them some fancy cuts using scissors. Here this is how it's going to look like. Now let's add some twine onto this tag. Because here we have a pink envelope so I'm going to be taking the same shade as well. So you will be needing around a 4 inch long um, piece of twine from this roll and I'm going to uh, double it up first and create a loop. From the loop side I'm going to insert it inside the hole and then I'm going to pass through the ends from the loop and tighten it up. Done and then I'm going to insert it inside the envelope. If you feel like the ends are too long, you may go ahead and chop them up and afterwards we are going to add the sentiment to finish up with our card. You may add the sentiment with the help of liquid glue or you may go ahead and use some foam adhesive to get a dimensional look onto the sentiment. So with this our card is ready. Wasn't it a fun card, right? I hope you enjoyed the technique of creating cute envelopes from the tag die and I hope you enjoyed the entire process as well. We would love to know your thoughts about this card in the comments below and you may also ask any queries if you have in the comments itself. So that is it for today. Thank you so much for being here till the end of the video. We'll see you again in the next one. Until then, bye-bye and happy crafting.